Let's talk about the difference between a research proposal and a research report, or the difference between a thesis proposal and a thesis, your, your final thesis. If, uh, if you're in research methods right now, you probably don't have to write a proposal. You're probably working on a research project as you work your way through uh, the class. But if you do a thesis or a dissertation or other types of large studies, many times you have to come up with a research proposal first that needs to be approved by your advisor or by people that are funding you. And you have to basically demonstrate in the research proposal that you're going to perform credible research, research that has value, that's going to, that is likely to yield useful results. And so the research proposal says what you're going to do, whereas the final research report or your final thesis or dissertation actually says what you did and what the findings of the research are. So let's talk about these. Now, most people find that creating the proposal actually takes longer than conducting the research. So this is where the, the work goes into it. And your advisor might have you rewrite things over and over again till it, it's, it's really uh, solid and convincing. So in the introduction, in your proposal, you give a complete description of the problem statement and an extensive lit review and the hypotheses. Now in your thesis, this section is likely to be the same as in the proposal. Only the relevant aspects. Now, there, there might be some things in your lit review that you found weren't relevant. You might want to change a few things. But generally, the introduction and the lit review and the hypotheses are going to be the same in the proposal and the final uh, uh, thesis. So that means once you've made your proposal, when you start your thesis, you're going to start with your proposal and just start making changes in it. The introduction, you won't make many changes most likely. Now the methods section in your proposal, that contains a complete description of what you are planning to do, and it's written in the future tense. And so this is going to be very complete, several pages long with all the details in it. And in your final report, in your thesis, this is going to change somewhat. It's a complete description of what you actually did which might be pretty close to what you said you were going to do, but this is going to be written in the past tense. This was written in the future tense. This is going to be written in the past tense. The next section in the proposal, the result is really short, a brief summary of the analyses that you're going to carry out, and it's written in the future tense. You don't have any results yet, so you can only say how you're going to get the results. This might be just a few sentences or a paragraph in your proposal. But in your thesis, it's going to be a complete present presentation of all the analyses and all the results, and it's written in the, the past tense. This is what you found. Similarly, the discussion in the proposal is going to be very brief. It's a brief summary of what you think the significance of this study will be. And again, it will be written in the future tense or conditional. If my hypotheses are supported, this means that I will discuss what this means for employees, for managers, and for consultants, something like that. In your final report and thesis, this is a discussion of the actual results and their significance. And this is going to be much more developed because this is where the rubber meets the road. This is why you did your uh, thesis, why you did the research. And so in a sense, this is the most important part because you have to convince people that your results should make a difference. And so this will be written in the past, present, and future, depending on what aspect of uh, reality you're discussing. And then the appendices in the proposal, you should have the items to be used to measure each construct, the complete survey to be used, the IRB documents, uh, uh, if necessary and available. And then the final report or thesis, you'll basically have the, the, the same thing. So this explains the difference between the research proposal, which is heavy on the introduction and method, light on the results and discussion, and heavy on the appendices. And then the final report and thesis, which is a modification of your proposal with all the details filled in.